Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm here to share with you a massive monthly grocery haul from Sam's Club. And right now it is Friday night. It is almost nine o'clock. It is pretty freaking late for me to be doing this honestly and getting these groceries. But sometimes when life, you know, gets busy, you just gotta do what you gotta do. We actually kept the baby up until like eight o'clock, 8.30 actually, cause she just went down not too long ago. Yeah, it's one of those nights, but I had to work all day. We had to go to the gym that's a priority then we had to take taylor to gymnastics and then we're like you know what when are we going to be able to do this this weekend we have a birthday party this weekend she has a friend's thing tomorrow and he's going to be working all day anyway and so i'm like hmm when are we going to be able to do it let's just get it done and make it happen not ideal but it's what we had to do today um so anyway sharing that with you in case you are someone who tries to stick to a routine and sometimes it gets thrown off and that's okay she'll be all right she went to bed actually went down pretty easily she probably still get up at the same time not even concerned about her staying up late and it is what it is can't be perfect all the time you know but um i want to share with you what i picked up from sam's we actually had to stock up on a lot of snacks last month i felt like we had to stock up on a lot of protein and i still certainly got some protein uh, this time too but the focus is a little bit more on snacks now i'm also going to be going to aldi tomorrow so i might be sharing that in this video as well uh, so maybe we'll have a Sam's Club grocery haul and an Aldi grocery haul because I need to stock up on some things. Sam's did not have broccoli, so I need to get that. We forgot mozzarella for pizzas tonight, so we had to stop at Kroger and pick them up because Chris was like, well, maybe we'll just go out to eat tonight, like order out, because we do that usually on Saturdays now. We kind of switched up our food routine. We used to do like steak and veggies on Saturday night, but we'd end up eating so late by the time he got home from work then got to the grocery store and then got it cooked. So I'm like, let's just go out or pick up. So we're gonna do probably hibachi tomorrow. And so I was like, no, I really want to like do that on Saturday. So like, let's just get this stuff from Kroger. Um, I've got actually two of my cast iron skillets warming up in the oven right now because I'm gonna make a sourdough pizza um, using a gluten-free starter. Anyway, um, let me show you what I picked up from Sam's. Let's start over here. First, we did pick up some paper towels, camera holder. We were totally out, need some of those. Picked up just two containers of the pasture-raised eggs. We bought three last month and we ended up taking one on vacation. And so we ended up using them all up. We actually still, I think, have like four or five. Um, but because we were on vacation, we actually went through a whole one and another one. We went back to Sam's on vacation, but um, we did go to Sam's and get more eggs. But that's because we were all off every single day and we had like half a dozen eggs every day. So I don't think we're going to go through that many this month. So I just picked up two. Also picked up some cottage cheese. Um, the other one I bought last month is almost gone. But I want to stock up on some egg bites. I made some good egg bites and I want to uh, make some more again. And kind of make like um, just like a healthier version of them. Or not even necessarily healthier because they're not really that bad. But a higher protein version of them. And then picked up two jars of artichokes. We always get these because it supports our liver. Um, don't have to go on any crazy detox. Just support your body with things that naturally detoxify and support your liver. Like artichokes, thistle, lemon, things of that nature. Picked up three of the silk almond milk unsweetened. I use these for smoothies, for shakes. Uh, for uh, baby cereal and then um, I also will use this anytime any recipe calls for milk unless it's pudding you can't make pudding uh, dairy free if you're using like a jelly pack if you know how to though let me know maybe throwing in some sort of gum I'm not sure um, anyway it's <laughs> such a side note but um, I don't know why I'm talking so much about almond milk, but that's just almond milk, right? Um, here comes some snacks. So we picked up the uh, variety pack of these Lance crackers. Peyton loves these. It's nice for her to just like get in the pantry and grab stuff. And that's why I grab so many snacks because she's starting to get things that like she can't eat. Um, like trail mix that she just is a choking hazard or like her other protein bars that I get from Aldi have caffeine in them. So we can't do that. Pit Chris picked up. Um, so actually he went to Sam's three days ago. And because we are, we were out of pouches out of the, um, like go, go squeeze applesauce and veggie, um, purees. And so he found this 18 count of these hot and spicy ramen that Taylor loves. Just got this for her randomly. They were like super cheap. And so she likes them. So why not? Um, but he also got, 
Okay, he got this and he got the two boxes of pouches and oh and another thing of protein bars and i feel like there was something else that he got but i can't remember what it was but anyway <laughs> we've we went to sam's quite a bit now actually the last month including our vacation but anyhow um just got that for for taylor chris actually probably ate them too sometimes he'll just throw, throw some in for this lunch for a carb source um we got these parmesan crisps i really like these peyton is now eating them like as a little snack but I like these as my croutons for my salad, especially like a Caesar salad. And then we just got the variety pack of the um, sliced cheese, you know, for burgers, sandwiches, things of that nature. Um, I also will use them on my omelet when I make them. And then picked up some Colby cheese. We have string cheese. Oh, that's what he got. We were totally out of string cheese. And so he bought some string cheese. Um, and so we just picked up this thing to keep it keep it fresh for him to switch it up so he's not eating you know 50 calorie string cheese <laughs> and he gets his 80 calorie colby jack and i'm sure peyton will eat that too i mean i might have it as well but i do tend to stick to like the, the string cheese um anyway picked up the romaine hearts love these their heads are romaine love these for salads now when it starts getting warmer out and we grill i mean honestly we'll grill in the winter time but i do like to cut it in half and put a little olive oil on it and grill it and make a caesar salad and make my own caesar dressing so 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 good picked up the little petite baby organic carrots just always get these when we go there also picked up a couple um well one container but two pa one package two containers of mashed potatoes it's just like an easy side dish like if you are in a pinch you do, I do freeze them, um, so it would be nice if you could take them out of the freezer, but if you're in a pinch, you can put them in a pan with some water in it and slowly heat them up and then have any sort of protein, meat, and the vegetable, and you're good to go. That's dinner. Nice, balanced, filling, delicious. Also picked up peaches. These are just like the little cups of peaches. Um, I do eat these. Everyone pretty much eats these, but mainly for the baby. Um, also picked up this Belvita of a variety pack. Taylor has been obsessed with these things since she was little and she always likes the chocolate ones, but we figure maybe Peyton will like them and she would probably eat the blueberry or brown sugar one and then Taylor can have the chocolate one. We're not giving Peyton chocolate just yet. Picked up some almond butter. I primarily use this for smoothies and dipping apples in, but sometimes I'll make cookies with it or put it in um, like making like balls, like, um, like energy balls and stuff. And then we're almost out of maple syrup, so I picked this up. Peyton loves her sauce now, and so we'll give her a waffle with like syrup on the side, and she dips her sausage in it. I'm like, okay, great. It's like the ketchup with Taylor. <laughs> um, this is something new. I've seen different clusters there before, but I don't think I've ever seen the dark chocolate cu clusters. And it's just dark chocolate, sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, almonds, um, pecans, coconut, um, quinoa. And I just need a little chocolate treat. I don't need to have chocolate every single day, but I would say most days. And I feel like a handful of this will just do the trick. Maybe have it with some yogurt so I get some protein and that help me be like more full and still feel satisfied. That's my trick to anything. Like anytime you want like a sweet, you can balance it out by having just like vanilla yogurt. Oh, speaking of yogurt, that was the other thing that he got. So like, I thought he got more things. We were like completely out, completely out of like our pantry. We really wipe things out but yeah he also got the oikos package of um the variety pack of yogurts so one of those with this is so good but like also on vacation i made brownies and i do this often where i'll like have brownies with fruit and some sort of nut and my yogurt so it's kind of like a brownie sundae but like healthier and then you're not going back wanting more because you're satisfied from the yogurt and you got your fix from the chocolate and that just helps to have balance i think and it's something you just got to practice if you feel like i'm never going to be able to do that um let's see we got more snacks over here got the pirates booty and um peyton is obsessed with puffs when we open a bag though it is gone within probably a day so i do think this is like a pricier way to go but it's more portion controlled and i think it will last longer because you just get one bag and that's it not keep going in for like another serving you know and then picked up some cheez it's i was also looking for like snacks that i can get for taylor and peyton i mean they are 11 years apart so <laughs> It's kind of hard to find them, like find things that they both like, but I think they, uh, and I know for sure they both like these Cheez-Its. Um, and then up here, now it's down here, I got some Nutri-Grain bars. I was looking for something that was like a little bit healthier, but it is what it is. I think it's going to be fine. Everything in moderation. 
she just likes going into the pantry and grabbing stuff and I want her to be able to have something. So it does have fiber. Um, I'm not sure what the sugar is. I didn't even like, we didn't have time to like really read all the ingredients. So I'm not really sure. I haven't bought these like, I don't think ever, or maybe when Taylor was really little because we ended up finding the Vans version, which are gluten free and like had like better sugar and stuff. But you know what? It's okay. It's okay. We can have that. It's not going to kill us. Um, what else did we get? We got some ham, we got just two pounds or two packages of the ham. And this is just for, I mean, Taylor eats ham just like as a snack, um, which I got turkey sticks. So she would, you know, hopefully have more of the turkey sticks for a snack because we ran out of that. So then she eats this as a snack. And I'm like, girl, use this for your sandwiches or omelets. Make it last. Like I'm trying to teach like this is a meal. This is a snack. I mean, anything could be anything. And so anyhow, and for her to be mindful, like you got to teach them when they're early. But anyhow, um, picked up six pounds of ground beef, 93, uh, seven. And then this we'll use for like hamburgers, tacos. Um, I still have some turkey meat from last month and I did make tacos with that last time. So I'll probably do tacos again. Cause Chris, you know, likes to have his tacos, uh, like, or likes to have his beef, I mean. And so, um, we'll do that and maybe like stuffed peppers or, um, chili. I like to do my turkey chili though, cause he cannot tell that it is beef or not beef. So anyway, maybe like a skillet or something, but we have burgers every single Monday now that Taylor makes uh, dinner. And so that should get us through the month maybe a little longer um also picked up the salmon it was just like a dollar cheaper per pound to get this one that was already sliced and i'm like well i'm gonna slice it anyway and freeze it so that helps me out i might still slice each one into like three or four pieces because that would be like a serving for peyton um and so like when we try to eat dinner together but it doesn't happen all the time and so on those nights where i need to just get her a quick meal i'll give her like a piece of salmon and i will like put it in aluminum foil when i freeze it so then i can just put it right into the air fryer um and i season it with cajun seasoning and then she can have like sweet potatoes and like broccoli or green beans or something on the side it's a typical meal for her um let's see other proteins for the kids <laughs> chicken nuggets these nuggets are um better in my opinion because it's actually like pieces of chicken that have been cut up it's not like pureed chicken that's mixed with breading like there's definitely breading on it but if you compare this to like the other uh, nuggets that has higher protein um and kids need protein too like they don't just need the fillers like this they do need a lot of carbs as well but they need the protein and in case chris wants to have this because sometimes like on pizza night he'll throw a few of these in the air fryer and put some hot sauce on them because he loves pizza and wings and you gotta, you know, get them what they want, right? <laughs> also picked up Mahi Mahi. We went through this, I think, in two meals last month. No, no, no. I made uh, fried fish for um, Lent. That's what I did with this. So this one I will use. Oh, and I did fish tacos. Did I do fish tacos once? And then we did fish tacos once. And then we did whatever. Anyway, we're going to um, probably do tacos or just like grilled fish with some sort of like salsa on it. Maybe some rice would be super easy. But I really like Mahi Mahi. And then picked up some turkey sausage. Um, Peyton likes chicken sausage links, so I have to get that from Kroger. But everyone else likes these. And I think she will eat them. It's just like she got burnout. She'll probably get burnt on the other ones and then go back to these. But we just kind of switch it up to um, keep them happy, you know. Picked up some Worcestershire. That's how I say it. And this is actually my secret to making turkey taste like beef or to just fake it out a little bit. You add a couple tablespoons to whatever you're having, like, couple, like if you're using a pound of beef, add two tablespoons of the Worcestershire to it. And it's not gonna taste exactly like beef, but it'll give it more umami and it will take away some of that turkey flavor. If you're someone, you know, have a husband like me who does not like turkey except for Thanksgiving, but he'll eat he'll eat the sausage though. Um, we actually got pork sausage the other day because we couldn't get this. We ordered did like a delivery um, order while we were in West Virginia so we could have our orders or groceries when we got home and he was like I want to try like the pork sausage and I'm like okay and he got it and he's like I don't even like it I'm like so crazy and how like you just you think I'm never gonna like turkey sausage but then you start eating it and then your taste buds change I guess and you're like it's good it tastes just like the pork sausage not the pork sausage we had but like a typical it's actually i think it was like super sagey but it tastes like normal sausage is what i'm trying to say but it's not greasy and it's good and it's like just higher protein for you um we got these protein bars these are also the ones that chris picked up the other day when i sent him to the store these are um just like a better version i think like 
sure there are better things out there that you can have but this has like here it's easy to see the thing but um it has you know fiber and protein and low sugar and so the kids need to you know be careful of that as well and so do we so i just think it's a really great option um to have like a quick little snack even today i had this and then like three string cheese and an applesauce pouch and then some chickpea like barbecue little chip things the hippies um that was my lunch again you know we're just doing what we got to do today when you're busy you just got to make it work um anyhow last thing i got some tuna and we got two of these because everyone eats that taylor likes to have that after school sometimes but this is what i picked up from sam's for april so I did make it to Aldi, so I'm going to share with you what I picked up from Aldi. And this is my like monthly Aldi haul. I don't go to Aldi every single week. We typically do Sam's once or twice a month. Used to be once a month. Now it's more than once a month just because we, if we run out of something for the baby, we have to go get it. And then I do Aldi once a month. I do Trader Joe's like every few months and then I do Kroger every single week. So I'm actually getting a Kroger delivery tomorrow. So maybe I'll put that in this video too and show you kind of how I use everything in like a whole week's worth of meals. But um, I went to the gym this morning and then we ran to Target to get a few things and to Aldi. And we had like 15 minutes before Tay was going to be picked up. So I'm so glad I didn't try to squeeze in Sam's today because it would have not happened. And the baby woke up probably about 20 minutes earlier than typical but she just like hung out and was like playing with her babies in her crib so I was like didn't even like really mess up the routine at all so I'm so excited about that sometimes you know we get afraid of like changing up the routine because we don't want it to like mess something up but it's okay like they understand and things are ebbs and flows in life and just gotta prioritize what's important and everything else will always work out I actually just jumped into the shower I um, did not wash my hair because it was it was kind of a sweaty day today but I really want to put like a mask in my hair tomorrow and we're gonna go for a hike in the morning so I'm like I'll just do that tomorrow but I wanted to like I had these bags out um, like while I was taking a shower because I put the baby down and I really wanted her to fall asleep before I started talking because she was like still kind of awake but ready for bed if that makes sense so anyway I'm gonna turn you around and share with you what I picked up from Aldi and fair warning there are some processed meats and I'll talk about that when I get into it. Okay, well, you know what? Let me show you my coffee here. We have a venti because why not? I had a free coffee um, in my app and I just got an ice shake and espresso with oat milk and then I did three pumps of, um, what did I get? Toffee nut and then one pump of sugar-free vanilla. And then this was not on my list and nor was i supposed to buy it but i think tay was in such a hurry she didn't see because she was trying to help me with everything so we could get things done and she can't mix vegetables um the baby will probably eat this but i'm not really a big fan of this unless i'm making like a pot pie which i don't have but maybe i'll do like a sourdough skillet i don't know that's an idea but did not mean to get this but we did i did mean to get some corn though it's um you know getting to be that time of year it's definitely not in season but uh Tay loves corn. She has braces right now, so we have to like cut it off. Um, but I just thought that would be like a good starch for the side. I had to stock up on veggies. <laughs> so we were supposed to get eight green beans and eight broccoli, but we ended up with seven broccoli, seven green beans, and one mixed vegetable. Again, hashtag teenager. And actually, she's not a teenager yet. She'll be 13 in July, but she's definitely a teenager. Uh, picked up some onion rings. This is for Chris. Listen, I've tried to just make my family happy while sticking to my own health goals. Like all of us honestly eat pretty healthy, but in our family, we allow ourselves to have these things because that's what's realistic. And if you're someone who doesn't like it, not a big deal. I don't eat this. It's not something that like I like, but Taylor and Chris really like it. And so they have this with a vegetable and whatever dinner we're having. And then also picked up some potato rounds. I just wanted to like switch it up because we always do burgers on Monday. Um, and sometimes we'll have this just as a side, like literally just, if you have a starch, a vegetable, usually a green vegetable, we go through broccoli and green beans. We pretty much alternate them every other day. And then we fill in things like asparagus or spinach or salads or kale or something throughout. But this might last us the rest of the month. I mean, we're already a week in, so it might, but it also may not. We'll see. Anyway, getting back to these potatoes, um, we typically get just like the crinkle cut fries because there's like less fat and there's only like 110 calories. So it's honestly not that much 
worse, I think. Um, just, you know, a few more calories per serving, but it's worth it again to switch it up and make the whole family happy. We picked up some ketchup. We love this ketchup from Aldi. It's organic and there's no high fructose corn syrup and it tastes just like Heinz ketchup. So, although the last time we did eat it and we opened it up, I think we have changed something about it because it was a little bit different. Maybe it was the batch, who knows, but we still love it. And then picked up the marinara. We were supposed to get two of these, but she only got one and I was like, fine, don't even worry about going back. Picked up the, um, it's like a superfood granola. At least that's how it pops up in my tracker. And this is very similar to the like clusters that I got yesterday, except this is like more dry because it's granola. It has more oats in it. And the other one is like more wet, if that makes sense, because it's like all coated in chocolate, but similar flavors. Um, but this would also be something that I can just use like with milk if I just want like that late night kind of chocolate fix and have that kind of like a cereal. And then also putting it on my smoothie bowls. So I like having it with vanilla yogurt depending on the time of the month, either pumpkin seeds or sunflower seeds. And then uh, some sliced bananas, really good. And then we've got some meat. So we've got some chicken thighs. These are um, the bone in skin on chicken thighs. I almost got the boneless, skinless chicken thighs just to make it easy, but it was literally $2 more for half the amount. And Chris is really good at cutting them up. Uh, like taking the bones out and then I use that for broth anyway. So it's actually going to end up saving money and creating another product. And for his little treat, he likes taking the skins, putting seasoning on them and putting them in the oven. Yes. Hashtag CLT. If you know what that is. Um, anyway, this is our processed meat. Okay. We got turkey smoked sausage. I have a thing of sauerkraut in the fridge. Everyone likes it. Throw it in the crock pot, put some mashed potatoes on the side and have some green beans and you're good to go. Also picked up some turkey hot dogs. You know, this is the thing of like, if your kids like hot dogs, do the best that you can and get turkey. There's a lower, you know, unhealthy fat and there's higher protein. And so it's like, you always just got to do the best you can. Like for me, I'm trying to balance like my own needs with my family's needs, sticking to our food budget and still be able to do all my self care things. And I'm making it all work and I'm being as healthy as possible. The thing is too, like if you're so worried about every little ingredient, number one, that's orthorexia. If you like, you won't eat things that are like not clean and that's a problem. And then also like if you're just stressed about not eating the right foods, like that stress is creating inflammation and creating problems in your body. And so it's like, I'm always preaching, like do the best you can with what you've got and balance and moderation truly is the key to success in life. And if you don't think that you can, you just got to practice it for a while and I'm sure you'll be able to do it. Anyway, turkey bacon is for, um, I've actually never had the turkey bacon from Aldi. Let me know if you've tried it, but I want to do some like English muffin sandwiches. I want to make some sourdough English muffins and then I would do like egg whites, turkey bacon, and then some cheese that we got from Sam's. Um, just as like meal prep for, you know, usually like our hiking uh, breakfast um, or just a random one through the week. But um, anyway, so picked up some more bacon. We love this bacon from Aldi. And we still have one in the freezer. And honestly, Chris was like, I am like baconed out because we had bacon every day on vacation. It was like literally five days in a row that we had bacon. Um, and so we usually would get one per week to have every Sunday, but we're gonna probably use two packages when we go to a brunch in a couple weekends. And I like making, um, like I use like some coconut sugar, cayenne pepper and black pepper and make like a little, I call it billionaire bacon. It's like the millionaire bacon from First Watch. So good. But anyway, this is just a little stuff that we got from Aldi. So we also picked up some berries from Aldi. These have already been broken into. Peyton's ate half of them already. But I feel like they just don't last as long. So I don't get very much produce, um, except for like some of the greens sometimes. But I feel like even like the onions and potatoes do not last from Aldi. So we only get things if we're going to eat it right away. And then also uh, the other thing, I couldn't remember what else Chris picked up from Sam's the other day. But he got this big tub of yogurt. He dropped it. So I had to put it in this plastic bag. But I use this like we'll make make a like lime crema for tacos and things like that. Um, but also like I mix this with cans of prunes and that I put that in like one of the reusable pouches um, for Peyton to have a few times a week just to help like her gut and stuff but anyway just wanted to share those little things it's the next day Sunday morning groceries were at the door when I woke up Chris went down and got them for me and I'll show you the few things that we got 
So we got a whole pineapple. This would probably be just for snacking. It's like the fourth time I bought it to make juice. So I'm not even going to try to actually make juice. I'm just going to probably eat it. But if I make juice, then maybe, you know, I'll let you know. Big old thing of spinach. We do usually get this from Sam's, but forgot it. And so we use this for my egg scramble, for salads, for smoothies. Throwing into some uh, pasta sauce to sneak in those greens. Hi. Hi. You say hi. It's a little bit loud today. But that's okay. English cucumber for snacking and salads. Kale. I usually make a batch of kale with a little bacon, my broth. If we have white wine, some red pepper flakes, salt, pepper, garlic, and we'll use have as a side on Monday. Then I mean on Sunday, then another day through the week. Green pepper. This is going to be for pizzas on Friday, which oh, it's a little soft. We'll have to cut that piece off anyway. I think it's sat too long. Um, two things of prunes. I like, since baby girl was a baby, we put this um, mixed with like plain Greek yogurt from Sam's. And so she has a pouch. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> and this just helps like with digestion and stuff. And plus she just likes it. It's part of her little routine. Um, kombucha was on sale. These big 48 ounce bottles. I got ginger berry, a synergy, and then a lemon berry. These are um, like the ones we typically get. I do like the watermelon too. If you go to Jungle Gems, you can get different varieties. They have like a turmeric one there. Um, I can't remember the other one is that we liked, but this is usually what they have at Kroger. But it was buy three, get $2 off, which means like at least that much of it is free. <laughs> and red onion. What are we doing with the red onion? Burger night. Fire sauce because this stuff is delicious for taco night. Salsa also for taco night. This is good in um, a breakfast burrito too, which apparently Chris had never had a breakfast burrito until vacation. And so maybe he'll be eating them from now on. Ranch dressing because you can't have carrots without ranch dressing in this house. And ripple, which is the milk that Peyton has. Um, tomatoes for burger night. Sliced olives for pizza night. Turkey pepperoni for pizza night. And then just a couple of things of buns, hot dog buns and hamburger buns. And these are like white and rich buns, not my preference. Sometimes I can sneak in the whole wheat buns and they won't know. Sometimes I can't to know what we're eating. But um, they use these for burgers. I have my burger night over a salad. I do like a burger salad with a special sauce. But everything in moderation. But this is what we got for this week from Kroger. Thanks for hanging out with me and letting me share with you what I picked up from Aldi this month and what I got from Sam's yesterday. Hope you enjoyed, maybe got some ideas, maybe feel a little relief if you eat, you know, some turkey smoked sausage once in a while. It's all about balance and pairing it well. And you know, the thing is, when it comes to like pain management, weight management is definitely a part of that. So just do the best you can with what you have and make simple swaps and over time you're going to reach your goals and you're going to end up feeling really good. And that's really the key in life versus going like super clean, things that you can't number one, continue to afford during every season of life. And number two, it's unavailable at different times. You've got to be able to be flexible. And then number three, it's not sustainable for your own palate because you're like, I really want a freaking Diet Coke. Or I really want a cookie, you know? And so when you don't allow yourself to have it once in a while, then you go to the extreme and then you create more problems in your body. So anyway, that's my little health tip, I guess. Um, but I hope you have an awesome day and please go do something good for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you next time.